Okay, so I get a few questions as to what do I feed the magpies? So that's just a hamburger patty, which is about 100 grams. And I'm going to mix in some of this Wombaroo insectivore rearing mix. It's good for kookaburras, small insectivores. Uh, there's no pictures of magpies there, but there's a big picture of a magpie on the front, so I figure it's pretty good. Somebody told me that it was made of a combination of dead wombats and dead kangaroos. I suspect that was a joke. But um, it's got their little... It tells you what's in, what's in it. There's the analysis there. There's all the ingredients. Meat meal, fish meal, blood meal. Ooh, all, that, all that stuff's probably better than what I'm eating. But, um, yeah. So, it tells you how to mix it. Um, directions for use on the back there. A little water may be necessary to moisten the preparation. So yeah, so 10 grams, one level scoop of powder with 20 grams of mince. So I, I end up usually putting about five or six uh, spoons of the Wombaroo mix. And it's really stinky. It's really, really stinky. Look, it, it says you can actually mix a hard boiled egg or, you know, make some moist pellets, rah, rah, rah. But yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna, so what I do is I just mash down the hamburger so it's nice and flat give me a bit of surface area and I'm doing this one-handed so try not to make too much of a mess there's one two three it's like a little cooking show four five whoop, six a couple of those are a bit small so I'm going to put an extra one in so seven Nothing wrong with putting a little bit extra in because it's, you know, that's the good stuff. If you can serve it straight, then I guess the more of that in here, the better. And now I'm just going to put a little bit of water in there. So I was going to use the tap, but it's hard to do one-handed, so I'm just going to use the drink bottle. So that just helps to soften everything up. And I'm going to have to use two hands here to try and hold the bowl still while I'm sort of mashing this all through. But I, I like to try and push as much of that one brew in through the mint so I don't get too much of a so it's so it's reasonably um, what's the word evenly mixed throughout you can't you can't smell that from here but this stuff is stinky so you just have to hope that the birds appreciate what you do for them but yeah so you can sort of see what's happening there so it's sort of the one brew turns to a little bit pasty and then you mix it with the mint so you force it through and eventually It'll be fully mixed. I'm just going to pause the video here. So just continuing on, that's about halfway done. You can sort of see a little bit of mint still there, and I'm sort of, as I'm going, I'm just rotating it, sort of turning it over on itself and scraping all the dry wombaroo off the side of the bowl. So I'm just going to pause it again, and then I'll come back. So that was another minute, and you can see that's pretty much well mixed now. I'll probably give it just another minute, and then I'll, I'll, um, I'll lay it out flat, and I'll roll it and show you how I prepare it for the freezer. Okay, there it is, all done. So that's only about two or three minutes total work. And it's nice and sort of moist, so there's a bit of water in there as well. And that's obviously good for the magpies. So yeah, I'll put some greaseproof paper. Okay, so you get a nice large piece of greaseproof paper and fold it in half. And the idea is now that we just try and flatten it out a little bit. And then you get a rolling pin and obviously you don't tell your wife or your partner or whatever that you're using a rolling pin because she freaks out um, and then you just roll it flat and just sort of again I'm doing this one-handed so I might look like a bit of a gumby but yeah roll it flat and just try and work it so that it stays as a solid like a continuous piece so it doesn't break out off anywhere and just keep it inside the um, the paper. Just, I'll just put this phone down for a sec. Okay, so that's rolled out fairly flat. That's probably about four or five millimetres thick. Obviously it's a bit thinner at the edges. But now that goes in the freezer for at least three days. And then once it's been frozen well, you just pull it out, peel the paper back, put it on the chopping board and then just cut it with a knife into lots of little um, squares, little bite-sized squares. And then you just defrost each, you just, and then all you do is just store them in a container in the freezer, and then you defrost only as many as you think you need for when you're feeding the birds. So, and it only takes like 15 to 20 seconds to defrost a small amount.
So that's how I prepare Wombaroo. Hope you enjoyed it.